Welcome or welcome back. For this video, I've been given the opportunity to paint a center cover for a 1JZ engine that's in a Toyota Chaser. Here's a few pictures of the car for reference. I'm particularly excited about this project because I've been given complete creative control. The only guidelines given were the car is green, kind of looks black though, do whatever you want, I'm sure it'll look cool. So after staring at the piece and pictures of the car for way too long, I finally came up with an idea of what I wanted to do. But that's enough of my face talking at the camera. Let's get after it and check this process. All right, so first things first, we gotta get this bad boy sanded down to bare metal because it's aluminum and had corrosion from being in Japan and that salt air. So as you can see, nice smooth down, all bare metal. Let's make sure that thing is squeaky clean before we hit it with the sealer. The sealer's gonna bite into that metal before we lay our ground coats. And for that, come in with a pewter metallic as the ground coat. And then on top of that, we do the coarse flake. I'm doing a diluted mix of it because I'm coming in with this mess maker here, spraying it all over the panel, all over the floor, getting it fully saturated. I don't want to see any of that ground coat underneath this flake. Check this out. This is under three coats of urethane clear. Now we let that set up for a few days out in the sun. Now we get the next fun process, sand it all down, get it ready to mask up the design. And for this one, I wanted to keep it simple because it's a small piece and your initial reaction is just to design diarrhea, every little trick you know how to do on every little piece, but you can't do that with something this small. There's just not enough area for it to make sense. So I'm keeping it simple with a little spear, make sure all my tape is nice and stuck down, starting from the inside out, going with a medium dark green base coat here, and then I fade it at the back to a darker green. I'm just working my way inside out. We got some shadowing going on, and then we'll do some candies and some striping. I'll let the music play and check it out. Now that I have those first two areas done, I'm measuring out and making marks for what they call speed trails, or one might even say on this car, chaser lines. See the water's evaporated so the water drop effect is officially done let's move on to shadowing around the outside finishing things up so i can move on to the final pinstripes before clear 